In this video, I'm going to introduce you to some of the weirdest superstitions in Japan. Today is going to be a little bit different than our regular vlog of me going around Tokyo. I wanted to share some cool superstitions that I've come across in Japan that maybe not a lot of people know about. Now you get to hear about it. All right, let's start. 13. Oh, what was that? Did you hear that thunder? Hide your belly buttons because in Japan, if you don't hide your belly button, the god of thunder is going to take it away. Actually, interesting case, this girl paid to get her belly button removed. Hmm, maybe next time this would be a cheaper way to get. So anyways, one of the reasons why Japanese people believe this because when the thunder would come, it would rain. And when it rained, it was very cold. So they would tell the kids, cover your stomachs because their immune systems are not as good. Scared them with the thunder of God. Hey, great parenting. And also, another reason. Back in the day, people would wear kimonos. And these kimonos, they would have an obi, which is kind of like a belt around your waist. And people would store their wallets in the obi, or in the belt. In the wallet, obviously, there's coins. And one guy who was walking around, thunder came, lightning struck, hit his obi, burnt his freaking belly button off because there were coins inside of it. I don't know if this is true. I can just make this stuff up, but well, apparently this is what they say. 12. Anyone have any snakeskin around? <laughs> because if you do, keeping snakeskin in your wallet make you wealthy. Before you guys kill any snakes and peel the skin off, let's stop. It's just dead skin that they shed, so you don't have to kill any snakes. Now, in Japan, there are seven gods. One of the gods is called Benten, and it's actually a female. She is the god of music, entertainment, water, and wealth. She had an assistant. This assistant was a snake. So people believe if you had a piece of skin from a snake, you would be in favor of the wealth god Benten. I don't know if people would appreciate that as a gift though. Hmm. I'll try it for Maiko's next birthday. Actually, she tried that already, so guess it didn't work. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys want to purchase Dead Snake Skin, check out the description below and I'll be selling them for $100 a piece. It'll make me rich. 11. This Japanese ginger called Myoga makes you forget things or simply just makes you stupid. Ah, uh, I don't understand why they believe these things. Okay, there are two reasons. Goes all the way back to Buddha. Buddha had an apprentice. His name was Suribando. He was so stupid, he always forgets things all the time, and sometimes he even forgets his own name. So he had to wear a nameplate around his neck. Nameplate in Japanese, now it's called Nafuda. But back in the day, Myoga is what they called the nameplate. When he died, a little root popped up and it was ginger. They named this ginger Myoga after his nameplate. Ever since then, Myoga has been associated to this really stupid apprentice that couldn't remember his name. Can't even remember a name so you gotta put a nameplate on? What a dumb apprentice. I wouldn't even hire him. I would have fired that guy a long time. Buddha. Yo, this guy can't even remember his name. Go get another apprentice. You're freaking Buddha. 10. Facing your pillow north is bad luck. The reason why is because that's how they bury dead people. If you look back into the history of this, Buddha is the first one slept facing his pillow north. So that's why people started burying dead people facing north. Eventually through time, they thought it was bad luck to sleep facing north because that's how dead people were buried. Are you guys facing north when you sleep? Nine. They believe that if you hiccup a hundred times, you're gonna die. The reason they believe this is back in the day, someone would get sick. They didn't know like what the cause was. One of the reasons is hiccuping a hundred times. They just said, hey, if you have a hundred hiccups around there, you're gonna die. But that's just because they didn't have any medicine back then and they really didn't know what they were talking about. Could have been like gonorrhea, syphilis, could have been a common cold, could have been something else. Who knows? Eight, a black cat crossing in front of you is bad luck. Now back in the day, they actually believed black cats were good luck. What they actually meant was if they saw a cat leaving, they thought that was bad luck. So what once was good is now bad. Bad luck, good luck. I think you make your own luck in life. Seven. Having a floating tea stem in your teacup is actually good luck. Let me explain this tea fiasco thing. You got these shop owners. What they do at the beginning of the season is they pick the leaves from the tea trees. They take this and they have their first batch. It was known during that time that the first batch was the most delicious and tasty batch of tea leaves. But then you had a second, a third, you'd have all of these secondary batches. These batches weren't as good. Tea shops had trouble selling 
selling all of the secondary batches. They spread a rumor. They told all of the customers, it's good luck to have stems in your tea. The secondary batches had more tea stems compared to the first batch so that they can sell all the ones that no one wanted to buy. After that, they were in the money. Sounds like marketing. I'm not buying any tea from you selling me stems. Six, seeing a morning spider is actually good luck. So whatever you do, don't kill it. Which, who'd want to kill a spider anyway? They're so cute. There are several reasons. Back in the day, these spiders represented customers coming in. But on the flip side, seeing a night spider meant thieves coming in the night. Another reason why morning spiders represent good luck here in Japan is because when spiders come out, they usually come out on a sunny day. So if you see a spider, it's going to be a sunny day. Sunny day means fun day. And one more. Did you know the yin yang theory? Yin yang, yin yang. The yin yang theory is having light and dark it's a balance and so in the morning which is light and you have a dark spider which creates a healthy balance yin and yang there's actually more reasons about spiders but i'm kind of getting tired of this one so let's get to the next one bye hachu hachu is that really how they sneeze in japan if you sneeze someone's talking about you hopefully it's good things because i sneeze a lot and sometimes when i sneeze i sneeze like in like machine gun kind of sneeze like three or four hachu 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 so maybe like that's four comments or good comments. Back in the day, people believed that if you started to sneeze, you were cursed. And where do you get curses? None other than your friends and family or the people who don't like you very much. Therefore, when you sneezed, those people were talking shit behind your back. What happens if you had a really bad cold? Man, people back in the day that had allergies must have thought people were talking a lot of shit about them. Four, do you have warm hands? A person with cold hands has a warm heart. Sounds like my doctor. There's actually like no reasoning for this. People just believe this in Japan. Interesting enough, in 2008, Yale did a study and found that people with warm hands were actually warm hearted and kind. My hands are warm. They're really warm. Three, when you're super nervous and you have to give a presentation in front of a lot of people, this is what they tell you to do to help calm your nerves. You have to write the Chinese character or person on your palm and swallow it three times. When you had actors in kabuki theaters, they would get nervous on stage and what they would say is, you gotta drink the people. So taking all of them in, saying that you can like overcome the audience. Which I guess it's like similar to in Western culture when they say, just pretend everyone is naked. Apparently that makes you calm as well. Two, eating seaweed will give you more hair. Is that just on the top of your head or is it like all over your body? So I couldn't find a lot about this one. There's actually no scientific proof that it actually helps you grow more hair, but I think they just like believe it because it's like dark and it's thick. It looks kind of like hair. Seaweed does contain lots of minerals, vitamins, and protein, which effectively helps maintain healthy hair, but it's not known to help grow more hair. It's good to know before you like start downing a whole bunch of seaweed just to cover that bald spot. But where is that bald spot? One, and one of the most weird superstitions that Japanese people believe is so if you don't hide your thumbs when you see a funeral car, your parents are gonna die early or you're gonna have bad luck. Funeral car, eight fingers. Oh no, you can see them. What happens if you don't like your parents? It dates back to the Taisho period. People believed that even though the body was already dead, the soul of the body was still floating around when in the funeral car. And the soul could actually enter a living person's body through the thumbs. So basically, between your thumb and your thumbnail, souls could actually enter in. Cover your thumbs when you see a funeral car. You don't want any dead souls. Thing is, what would they do? Because I have a soul. Would the souls just like hang out together? Or would like my soul leave? into someone else's body. I really hope you enjoyed the breakdown of superstitions that people believe in Japan. If you have any comments about any of these superstitions, if you believe them or you think I'm just full of BS, leave a comment in the comment section below. If you know of any other superstitions from where you're from, also leave it in the comment section below because I'd like to hear about it. And if you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more from my life in Tokyo or any of these like ridiculous stuff I find in Japan. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.